the cyber act with a wondrously crafted and today we're gonna be doing armor yes 3d armor items i've gotten a lot of requests since they've allowed wearable armor and items now it's epic it's great there's so much we can do with it so let's get started this is what we're going to be making, or what we've already made, and I'm going to show you how to get it into your game. And we are going to be using Block Bench Item Entity Wizard just to get you started. And here's the beautiful, beautiful thing about the Entity Wizard. Once you make one item with the Entity Wizard, then you can just copy and paste that file over and over. So this is just a great way to get you started. So here we go. We're going to jump in and we're going to say, hey, we want to make, you know, leggings or we want to make boots or we want to make any of these. Now, I'll mention if you don't have these in your list, then you need to go up into the plugins and you need to get it installed first so being available find it in the list and install it then it will show up here okay so then you hit entity wizard we do new we click what we want and then it says oh what's the name gonna be and we're gonna call this our magic boots right and then you can pick the the stack size, you want to put in here your uh, RP or BP pack identifier if you have one, and uh, just some other basic settings. And then we'd say, hey, oh, it's wearable, and where is it wearable? It's wearable on your feet. And then we have how much protection does it give you? So you could say, well, it gives you all the protection possible or no protection. Is it wood or is it whatever? So we'll put in the middle. And then how much durability? Is it going to be netherite? Is it going to be wood? How long will it survive? And then what uh, repairs it and how much repair does that do? And then can it be used in f uh, fuel as fuel? If we hit next, we have a choice on the glint, um, if you want to have glint or not. And then that's pretty much it. Now you can choose to put it into a pack, export it into a folder or an MC add-on. If you want to just do this, this is your first time, you've never done this before, and you're like, but Cyber, I just want to click a button and it just works. So then you would do this MC add-on. Um, you click it, you save it. And then you just double click this file and then it will just put it into Minecraft and you just uh, apply it to your world. And then you're done. But if you're doing this for the second time and the third time and the thousandth time, you want to integrate it into your pack. And so I already have a pack here called Armor. So I click it and it's going to kick it in. So here we go. Here's our boots. So you're going to modify these boots and make them how you want. You're going to draw on the texture, or, you know, this isn't the texture, the item, to make the item how you want it. This is your texture. And that you do it. And if you want to see how mine look, mine look like this. So here's my helmet. Right? And here's my boots. And here's my chest piece. And the big thing that matters here is whatever you want this to attach to on the player is what you're going to put in here as this main bone name. That That's what attaches. So the chest piece, this middle piece, is in body, but the arms are not in body. The arms are arm left and arm right. And so these arms are in those bones, so they'll bend with the arms. And here, same thing. There's a left leg and a right leg, and then there's a bone right and bone, or sorry, boot right, boot left. And so all of this is in the template that Blockbench gives you. But that's the big thing is it's just about this bone name. Now, one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to have body as a bone name inside your head right you have to be aware when you're doing armor and attachables that whatever the bone names are in the attachables that you're not using the common names that the player bones use so body you know a right item all that type of basic stuff and that's just kind of modeling 101 anyways so 
now that we've got this guy there, this we open up. I'm using bridge version one, but you could use version two. You could use JSON. You can do whatever you want. It doesn't matter. It's all the same. And in the behavior pack, we can jump in and we can see magic boots. And it says, okay, well, here's the item and the name and the category. It's all the same things that we just chose. And this is what it looks like in the JSON or in Bridge. So here's our durability. Here's our repair item and what it is. Here's where the slot is that it goes into. All of that stuff's right here. Oh, that's great. And then we also have inside the RP, the resource pack, we have our attachable. So here we go. Here's our magic boots. And this is where the, the model is, the geo. So if you wanted to change that to something you already had, here's the texture for it. So, and these are just an attachable. You can even have its own render controller. So if you go look at my guides, I have over a hundred guides. There's just countless things you can do with render controllers and attachables and animations and all of that stuff can be applied to these equip to this equipment and this armor. And that's pretty much it. And the rest is just having the texture for the item, the texture for the attachable. And that makes up how armor is. And you put that all together and we get this beautiful, awesome armor that you can take off, you can put on, you can, um, you know, do trophy type stuff with it where I have... Um, it doesn't just have to be armor then, right? Now we could say, well, why not have your own heads and your own trophies? So you can make, you know, like other games have trophies. So I have that guy up on the wall, but I also have it so where you can have it as a helmet. And it can still have all of the, the same you know, stuff that you want so that it has defense and has durability and has to be repaired um, and all of those things. So that's it. That's how to do equipment in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. This is Cyberax with Alonisly Crafted. And we've just been doing, you know, all these fun things. I've been building so much stuff. If you haven't been checking out the channel, you really should check out and see all of these cool guides that we've made for custom blocks. You know, we've got all kinds of amazing stuff coming coming out. And uh, it's really coming along. I mean, it's it's coming along, coming along good. Yeah. So, thanks for watching. If you've got any ideas of guides that you want or questions, you can always join the Block Bench Discord or the Bedrock Add-ons Discord. Always help if you can. If you're a studio owner or a partner, we could always use sponsorships to keep this stuff going. There's so many people in the community that need help. We need your help to keep helping them. So if you can help, please do. Thanks for watching.